Hey guys! Hey. Welcome to W and L Reviews. Today we are going to be reviewing three movies. Carrie, the 2002 version, The Thing, the 2011 version, and The Purge from 2013. I'll let my mom start us off. Okay, so Carrie, the 2002 version. Um, it is much like the original version, if any of you out there have seen that. Um, it, it, the ending is quite different. Um, and uh, there's another version out there somewhere. I, I'm not sure if it was before this one or after. Um, and it has Julianne Moore in it. That's not this one. This one is, is really a, a good one. Um, and it kind of explains more into Carrie and her mom's weird relationship. <laughs> if you haven't seen the original movie, then I suggest you see that one first. Um, I'm not sure if Leslie has ever seen the original. However, I have um, many times over. Um, this one is, like I said, it's it's similar and yet it's different. It has some similarities and yet quite a bit of a difference at the end of the movie and the middle of the movie. Um, it is good. I don't think there's any sex scenes or anything. There is... Some violence, um, definitely, and I will say that if you have a propensity to have a queasy stomach or don't like things like that, probably shouldn't watch this. There is some nudity at the beginning. Oh, that... Oh, technically. It doesn't really show anything, but... I don't remember that, but okay. She started her period in the girl's shower. Oh, that's right, that's right. Anyway... So there's that. But, um, there is, like, a, a part where they, they go and, um, some people slaughter some pigs. And if you haven't seen the original movie, you would understand, if you have seen it, then you'll understand where I'm coming from. If you haven't, then go back and watch that first. Um, and with all of that being said, I'll let my daughter tell you what she thought of this movie. I liked it other than the nudity scene, I don't really think that was fully necessary. I mean, I understand the, um, that was partially to explain, um, uh, her mom being uh, as wackadoo as she was, um, and all that, but I feel like it could have been handled a little bit different. She didn't necessarily have to be in the showers, it could have just been, like, I don't know, like, in class or something, and something like that. Not necessarily did it have to be in the showers at where she would be nude. So, I feel like that could have been averted from, and they could have done something different. But other than that, and it was a really good movie. I mean, I wouldn't outrightly call it a horror movie, per se. In general, it was more suspenseful, and then at the end, it was bloody and gory. So, um, it would, I guess if I had to put it into a very specific category, it would probably be closer to a slasher movie. And even then, it's only really the end where that happens. So, I'd say, in my opinion, it's more of a suspenseful movie than a horror film. Oh, I never said it was a horror film. I know, but that's what they typically describe it as, oh, like, when you look. okay. To see, because a lot of like, if you're looking on, say, the back of the uh, DVD case or on some form of like some online platform to watch movies, it'll often be listed as a horror movie. But I would consider it more of a suspenseful film. So, the next movie is The Thing. Okay, The Thing is. This is a remake of the original. The original was in 
the 70s or the 80s. I'm not, I'm not super clear on that. However, the first one scared the pants off of me when I was a kid, so I can definitely tell you that this one um, has that uh, uh, sense about it. It is this creature, and uh, 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 and th the movie is the title is perfect because it is a thing. It, it morphs into. I'm not gonna give the, the, the movie away. I'm just gonna say, if you like edge of your seat, scare the pants off you movies, then this will be definitely up your alley. If you don't like that kind of a movie, then you might not want to watch this. If you have youngins that, that, that like kind of this kind of stuff, you may want to watch it first so that, you know, if, if they are the kind of kid that say that they like that and then they get scared really easy, um, you might want to watch it ahead of time. There's, there seems like the, there, there is a little bit of, there is, there is some nudity, um, it, it doesn't, I don't think it shows like too, like much, but it hints there and, 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 you know, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I don't want to give the movie away, but I will say that if, if, it is a good movie if you can get past some of the things. There is some language, um, and uh, it is um, definitely one that you will uh, think twice when you look at uh, look at things after you watch this movie. I'm not about. Um, and I'll let my daughter tell you now what she thought. I would not watch this with your young children even if they do like scary movies because like my mom said there's some nudity as well as there's a lot of language in the 2011 version so i certainly wouldn't have your kids watch it if they're younger now if they're a young teen or a teenager yeah they probably could watch it possibly um <laughs> depends on the kid but um I know I really enjoyed the thing. I thought it was very scary, edge of your seat kind of a movie. And I'd definitely watch it again. And uh, I don't know, if you haven't watched it, you just really should. Um, I can't remember where we watched it, but um, on some streaming I think platform. It, was, uh, it might have been Tubi, but I'm, I, I'm not going to awesome. swear to it right now. But nevertheless, it's a really good movie, mm -hmm. and I think you guys should watch it. So the third and final movie we will be talking about is The Purge. The Purge. Well, if you didn't like or haven't seen The Thing because you don't like violence, you're not going to like this one. Uh, this one has violence in it. Now I will say... We have ventured to watch the other, two of the other Purge movies, and they are far more violent than this one, uh, which is disconcerting. Um, the, 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 uh, the premise behind, if you have never seen The Purge, um, the, 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 this one, uh, the idea is that there is no violence, there is no, there is, there's no bad things do not happen no more. And, and, and the, one day a year, they have this day, and if you get all your aggressions out, you can do, you can murder people, you can do whatever, on this one day. And, yeah, the, and, and all heck breaks loose, and, 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 pretty much on this day. So if you aren't, uh, I will say that it, uh, how do I put this? If you like suspense or scary or drama kind of movies that are like the good guy wins oh, kind of movies, you might give it a shot. I will say this movie does have violence, but I will say too, it is far, 
far more uh, pales in comparison than the other ones. The other ones that come after this are so much more violent, so much more language that it's like, you know, it's horrible. Um, this one, there's a little bit, there, there's a little bit of like, um, like you can understand the, some of the reasonings as to why there was violence. And when, if, when and if you watch this movie, you'll understand. Um, uh, I don't want to give too much away, but I do want to tell you guys about the movie more. Um, I, 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 I kind of liked it, but kind of didn't like it, and I didn't, oxymoron again, um, it, it, I liked the premise of the idea of the, of the movie, the movie was different, however, I don't like the, you know, violence, which kind of is kind of funny since I like walking and fear. But that, 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 because I'm, I have memories of, um, that are associated for those movies, or those shows. This is, this particular movie, is, to me, is kind of the good guys versus the bad guys kind of thing. Um, if you can get through it try. I would not, definitely would not recommend this for young children or really even preteens. Now, if you have a teenager like this one, you might venture to watch it with them. Uh, you have to just judge your, 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 your child. Um, I probably wouldn't watch this movie by myself. So, you know, take, uh, take that for what it's worth. Um, I'll let my daughter now tell you what she thought now that I yammered on forever. Okay, so I liked The Purge. Like my mom said, there's definitely violence. There's also some language. There's definitely language. However, for the language, you can somewhat... At least I can somewhat get over it because it's like, in the situations in which they are cursing, it makes sense. Because in a lot of the situations, it's like right about when they think they're going to die or something really, really bad happens. So it's not like just senseless cursing for no reason whatsoever. You could actually understand why a person might be cursing in that instance. Not that it's, not that I condone it, but it's a little bit more understandable. But, um, if you can get past the violence and the cursing, it is a really good film for, uh, the suspense of it all. The violence, the real violence, doesn't really happen until close to the end of the movie as well. So it, in comparison to the other movies, it's not the entire film is all violence, right. like the others. It's just the end that really gets violent. And even then, it's quite, um, it's toned down compared to well, the Well, and there movies. was a storyline with this one. Yeah. Versus the other one, it was just violence. And it was just, like, yeah. kind of interspersed. You might find a little bit of story in there. But this one, there was more of a storyline. And so you could kind of follow it a little more. Yeah. That being said, guys, thank you for watching. If you could please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. Huge shout out to our to our Patreon, Marion, also known here on YouTube as Life, Life Unboxed. Unboxed. Thank you so much for joining our Patreon, and if any of you guys out there are also interested, the link will be in the description in the description box down below. <laughs> Anyways, guys, we'll see you next week. Bye.